years, my wife and I have been wanting to reach out to communities here in Taiwan and share the love of Jesus. And we've been able to do that. However, it's really difficult to help these people come to, come to know who Jesus is and for those people to change their lives once they have families and communities they're involved with. We've gone out to the countryside to do church planning and we find it's really, really hard, not only as foreigners, but just the openness. People are not open. Um, as you get into these more traditional pockets on the island. And so, um, you know, after years of doing that, we thought we, we need to find a different way to do this. We need to find a way to get Taiwanese believers out into these areas who could probably be a lot more effective than we could. And we decided, well, let's, let's work with young people. So we decided to start a, uh, a university and a young people ministry. So we opened a coffee shop. Our purpose is to create an environment where students feel comfortable coming and hearing about Jesus. And if they are already Christians, learning to follow Jesus. It's really our second home for a lot of these people. We've had people come in and say, this is the most relaxed I've felt in years. Um, our real hope is that while they are here, we can train and disciple. We're just all about discipleship. We want people to know how to follow the Lord, how to love his word, how to love him, and how to share that uh, with one another. Our long-term goal is to see these students return to their homes, um, especially those from the rural areas. We uh, started a Sunday night Bible study and these students started coming. And then they just kept coming and they invited their friends. So one day I asked this guy, well, wh why do you guys come here to listen to these weird foreigners talk in Taiwanese about Jesus? And he said, well, it's because you teach the Bible and I want to know the Bible. And that's why he invited his friends. So what we're seeing is, is a number of young people who are coming here because they want to know what God says through His Word. That is about the most exciting thing we've experienced in Taiwan.